Hey, what is up guys? It's Pokemon Nostalgia and I have a pretty funny one for you guys today. So there was this guy that wanted to buy my, um, let me see, my, well, my Chansey right here. That's uh, for a hundred dollars, right? So it's a PSA 10. It's low pop. Uh, I think it's pop 15. So oh, pop, pop nine right here, pop nine. So I have two of them, um, two of these uh, in a 10. And then the last one sold was for $30, which I bought it. So now I have two. One is for sale. One I'll probably keep or sell. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, um, I was messaging this guy. Well, he messaged me. He said, the last one sold for $30. i will give you $35. Let me know if you could do that. I told him, I know. I bought the last one. The last sold. It was underpriced, so I snatched it for $90. Is the lowest I could go. He's like, no thanks. He like, and I told him, yeah, I'm solid on these poker cards. They are as vintage as they get. I don't mind holding them forever. If they sell, they sell. If not, they will go into storage to get older and more expensive. So, um, and then I, 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 I think we ended it there. But uh, then I, I got a message from this guy. He said, please tell me you saw the Reddit post and are bidding on the other one on action right now. I told him what Reddit post. He said, well, I can't link it because eBay won't let me, but somebody called you out <laughs> rather lamely. Hey, I, I appreciate it, bro. I, he, yeah, there you go. It was lame. He knows the truth. It, good looking now, bro. And then he, he told me, he, he said, you know, go over here, listen, learn. He, I told him, hey, hey, thanks, bro. I wasn't even trying to manipulate the price. I just, I, I just mentioned that it was underpriced, at least in my opinion. All of this is speculation or my opinion. Could be underpriced, could be overpriced, I don't know. But the facts are, they are vintage, 1996, and I'm talking about the poker cards. The decks are expensive, and they are very, very low pop. And if you want to throw in, also a lot of people have not been really exposed to these cards yet. Which is true, because a lot of people that I show these poker cards to... They're like, I've never seen those. Those are way too cool. So this is the Reddit post right here. And he says, this is my second time I've seen someone just straight up admitting to manipulation prices in the span of about a week. See my last post if you want to see how the last manipulator reacted to being turned out, which I already saw. It is pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so he posted this. He only posted this. And what I said, you know, th this is okay. So, um... And then the, the comments are like, if guy bought a whole lot of one card and do the same fake sale at high price, then sure, he manipulates the market. But here, even though it's naive to think there is only one copy of that card, he bought one card and tried to flip for more. That's not manipulating the market at all. Good job, brother. I appreciate that, man. Yep, way to go. Okay, so... The other guy responds, and given there's only three on eBay, one is his, it's not even close to manipulation. Oh, and the one in the auction is now at 64 and probably go higher, which there's only one, there's only two chances. One is in bids and the other one is buying now for $100, which is mine. He said, well, I guess you better bid on the other one. And then somebody said, somebody else says, it's not going to, it's only going to get worse over the next 10 years. <laughs> yeah, true. So that's what I'm saying. I don't mind keeping these uh, poker cards because a lot of people are still not exposed to them. And uh, these are beautiful, beautiful artworks. Let me see if I got, look, look at this Blastoise. Look at this Blastoise. The original artwork from the base set. How could you not love that art? Same thing as Chansey. Same thing. Right here, this Gengar is $300. Same thing. Same artwork. I, I love these cards. I love these poker cards. And here's here's one, here's one a rare one right here. It's a yellow bag Mewtwo. How, how could you not love these cards? They're the same artwork as the base sets. I actually got a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so... Let me let me show you guys uh, the all all our messages between me and him, um, and then you guys can tell me if I tried to manipulate the market. Where's it at? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, right here. Okay, so then he says this is what he doesn't show. Maybe in a few months I'll offer forty, and I and I just told him straight up the truth. Just save us time. I won't go listen asking. 
all these poker cards are very low pop which is true and still fairly new to the pokemon community collectors everyone i showed these to fall in love and would and and I, i'm actually surprised that uh oh i'm sorry and you would be surprised how many people have never seen this card which is true and i'm actually surprised uh, at some of these cards that sell for like like these like these gengars right here they sell for three hundred dollars last sold and i got two of them a red back and a, and a green back don't get them confused they're not the same i even though they're the same gengar they're different psa keeps them as different population uh same thing with the mewtwo i got a green back a yellow back and a red bag. I have a blue bag, but it's uh it's in CGC, and that's actually pop one. So if I wanted to do manipulation, I would have done it with the CGC Mewtwo poker card because it's pop one. Also, this card right here, I just sold one for a hundred and fifty dollars. I'm actually surprised how well these sell. Green bag poker card. But yeah, guys, you tell me, is that manipulating the market? Um. And it, it, this 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 is just a fact. They're 1996. They're as old as it gets. The the poker poker decks that they come out from, they are actually pretty expensive. One of these is like I think lowest buy now a thousand dollars. They're pretty expensive, and not only that, they're not guaranteed. The Gengar is not guaranteed in every deck. You could get, if there's 150 Pokemon, only uh, 54 cards in the deck. And I think, uh, if I remember correctly, three, two of them are with the Joker card. So you actually only get um, uh, 50 out of the, I'm sorry, 52 out of the 150 Pokemon. So it's not guaranteed. None of these Pokemon are guaranteed. Uh, Gyarados is another uh, um, not guaranteed. Blastoise is another get not guaranteed. The, mo the most uh, rarest one is actually Charizard. I do have one, but it's not in the condition I would want it to be. Where is it? I actually have a Venusaur as well. This is a beautiful card right here. Uh, where is it? Right here. Right here. Charizard. So Charizard and a PSA 10 last sold for $910. And like I say, I'm actually surprised that these sell for this this much when people are still fairly new to them but uh, yeah that was my rant guys if um i appreciate you guys watching but what do you think am i manipulating the market just because i didn't want to sell it for 35 dollars when i bought the last one sold for 30 dollars is it just manipulation or is it just smart thinking smart investments all right guys i'll catch you guys on the next one and again thank you for watching all my videos i appreciate all the love guys Catch you on the next one. Also, this is my uh, Pokemon store right here. My eBay store. Sell all store. Click on it. I got a bunch of poker cards. A bunch of Pokemon cards. And I also post. Uh, look, I just posted this one right here. Um, I actually uh, have also singles. Single poker cards if you want some. Uh, yeah, I got a little bit of everything. Yeah, I just posted that yesterday as well. Um... What else? What else? This. <laughs> uh, and some toys. And a little bit of everything. That's why it's called Sell Lost Store. But I appreciate you guys for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one.